Hi, this is B. Legrand, and we're here with Jason, creator of Jaden's Juice. His son has Dravet syndrome, and he's here to tell us a little bit about his story. Can you let us know how you got to using CBD and creating your own brand and product? Yes. Um, thank you for having me first. Uh, Jaden, Jaden was uh, born perfectly fine at four months old, started having seizures, went on a downward spiral, started being prescribed a lot of pharmaceuticals. Uh, 12 different medications, we're given rescue meds, diastat, rectal injection of Valium uh, for whenever he have seizures, he'd have seizures for an hour, hour and a half. Uh, he, would, um, he would have my clonics all day long. We were at our last resort, we were down to the last three medications, they're called the Magic Three. We're going to these meetings across the country called Gervais Syndrome meetings from Gervais, Gervais Foundation and stuff like that. And I noticed we'd, the first ones I went to, I would just listen to him, listening to them and they were telling us, use these pharmaceuticals, Magic 3, Magic 3, you know, it's, uh, Depakote, Clobazam, and um, Steripintol. And if you use it, your kid's going to be magic, gonna be, it's going to be fine. Well, really, the magic thing about it was our kids survived those medications. Uh, what happens is it was a honeymoon phase for a few months, things got worse, and um, we're at a life and death situation. Jaden was dying from those medications. So it was April of um, 2011. Jaden hadn't slept for a few months, for two, three months, and I was very desperate. Uh, I was losing it myself because can you imagine not sleeping for one day, let alone every day? Yeah. He was crying, screaming in pain from the pharmaceuticals, and next thing you know, um, you know, I, I had to make a decision to make a change. Uh, so I, everyone has their own faith. I have my faith, my faith in God, and he showed me a sign that, uh, that Jaden, to, to get Jaden cannabis. And um, I tried, I got it. After I got it, I had it for two weeks. I was scared to give it to him because there was no other parent out there, no one talking about cannabis for children yet. Uh, there was a cash hide, actually. Uh, cash hide was the only one I've heard of that was with cancer, not with epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Plus, Jaden was on a lot of pharmaceuticals. So there was no one really doing it for, for epilepsy. Um, so I got it, and I had it for two weeks. I didn't use it yet. Everyone was scaring me at first, and then I used it on Jaden, and it worked. The first day I gave it to Jaden was the first day he ever went seizure-free in his life after having seizures every single day of his life. And after that, um, I, I went back to get another bottle from this dispensary uh, from Harborside. And I got the same company's uh, brand and had the same thing. It says CBD. There was no percentages, ratios, nothing. No one knew anything about that at that time. This was four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I went to get it and I gave Jaden this, this. After I ran out of that batch after four months, I went and got the next batch and I gave Jaden it wasn't working. So I realized something was wrong. And um, no one knows this, kind of, this part of the story, but I hooked up with Dr. William Courtney. Dr. William Courtney is probably the best world-renowned medical marijuana doctor in the world. He's cured cancer for a little baby, for an eight-month-old baby before, so I could trust this guy. So I ask, I go to him and I talk to him and he tells me about ratios, percentages, getting tested, which most of the dispensaries didn't know at that time. Mm -hmm. So I went and got the medicine tested and I found out there was no CBD in there, even though it said CBD in there. And it was the same companies and everything. So what I did was uh, I started researching and I came across, Dr. Courtney helped me find plant material, he helped me find uh, the, the flower, and he also helped me find the plant. So we're getting the, the medicine and we're giving people to, to, we're getting people to make it for us. There was a company here in California called Alta California that made my medicine for me uh, for a few, few uh, for I'd say about six months. Mm -hmm. uh, after six months, and I got him into the front page of the LA Times, he told me he's not gonna make my medicine for me anymore and left me hanging. So after that happened, I was very desperate. Uh, I came across some guy locally. He'd seen me uh, at a restaurant and said, hey, I work with cannabis and I extract medicine. I'd like to talk to you. So I had the plant and um, I had plant material because I was, I was, at that time I was buying an ounce for $400. I was buying half pounds for about $2,800. And, um, and I was just testing, trialing, airing. I was getting donations from friends, from church to help me to get the medicine and figure out the ratios and stuff. So I, uh, I, give it, I give it to this guy and I give it to about 10 other people that everyone's, a, these days everyone's a cannabis expert if you've noticed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I give it to about 10 different people and everyone screws it up except for one guy. He uh, makes it consistent every time and, um, and he was extracting it too, not just he was growing it, but he, coincidentally he was not just growing it correctly and leaving it at the 20 to 1 ratio, 30 to 1 ratio. And in between there, everyone else was going down to a 2 to 1, a 5 to 1, a 3 to 1, a 10 to 1. They're ruining the plant. Because CBD is not like THC. Mm -hmm. And we're using whole plant, we're not using hemp. Mm -hmm. Hemp is for ropes, it's for, mm -hmm. for materials, it's not for medicine, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's like the garbage of the cannabis, I feel like, because we've tried hemp before and it didn't work for my son, it made it seizures worse. 
Mm. Jaden's worst seizures ever was on hemp, actually. He had nine grand mal seizures in one day on hemp. So, but everyone is different, you know? So um, not, it's not one size fits all. That's why there should be different components out there for everyone to use. There shouldn't be one component mm -hmm. legal in any state. Yeah. This plant is not half evil and half good, right. <laughs> you, know? you know? So, um, so after that, what I did was, um, I started working with this guy and he started making medicine for me and it was working amazingly for Jaden. And I started weaning Jaden off the medications. And during the process of the wean of the medications, I started using uh, different components because CBD doesn't work during the withdrawals. So I started using THC and that was fantastic for withdrawals because Jaden mm -hmm. was suffering having um, like anxiety attacks. He was having tremors. He was um, seeing things. Uh, and the more CBD you give, sometimes it enhances those withdrawals, especially with benzos because they go through the same liver channel. Mm -hmm. So what I did was the THC was working amazing, and then um, he makes a THC. The, the people that make Jane and Juice make a THC for us, and they also make a THCA product. And that's what we're using right now is our THCA. The THCA is non-psychoactive either. Um, what it does is kind of like juicing the plant, mm -hmm. and for us it works amazing. Um, and what I noticed with CBD, which a lot of facts aren't out there, everyone just talks about CBD, CBD now, it's a new thing cause, um, because they seen it on TV, and, and I think there's a lot of strategies on TV that doesn't show the whole thing, but you need the whole plant. The reason why is because there's different times in someone's life that you might need different components, and not just that. After a while, someone gets used to it, so you have to change things around. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been giving Jaden cannabis for four years now, so we used uh, CBD, we used THCA, we used THC, we used CBDA. And what we've done, too, is uh, we've extracted with different, comp with different bases, so we've used um, olive oil, we use grapeseed oil, we've used MCT oil, we use coconut oil, I mean, it's all different. So we have patients that are using, some are using um, CBD and coconut oil that are doing amazing and some that are doing horrible. Mm -hmm. Then the, with the same plant material but extracted with something else, <clears throat> with, with like um, olive oil, they're doing amazing with the olive oil but horrible. So it's, everyone's different. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to, hard to figure it out, yeah. you know, it's kind of a trial and error. How many seizures was he having a day before you started him on the cannabis oil? Jaden was having, so there's different types of epilepsies and different types of seizures. Mm -hmm. So Jaden was having um, about two to three grand moles a day. They were hour, hour and a half. And uh, they were, they were, um, they were torturous. And I was giving him diastat, I gave him rectal diastat uh, 40 times in one month. I was having problems with getting um, the diastat from my, from Walgreens or from, uh, from Walgreens because they thought that I was selling it in the streets. Oh my know? gosh. I was, and I asked my insurance, I'll be like, so you think I sell uh, rectal diastat in the streets? Oh well, yeah, people are willing to, willing to take it. Uh, they'll, they buy it in the streets, so we don't know what you're doing. I said, well, my son has epilepsy. He's having an hour, hour and a half long seizure two to three times a day. I keep on giving him the injection because he's getting more and more addicted to it. So he's feeding for that hit. So after that, um, he was also having my clonic. So he was twitching. 500 times a day grand, in the grand malls, and also he go face first, head for, it's called head drops. You have a lot of eye flutters. Right now, after four years, I'm weaning him down from 22 pills down to two. Uh, we're only down to the last two pills. It's, it's the hardest one to get off, so we're, we're working on it. It's been hard for me because I need to focus more, but it's been, this project's been pretty big, so he needs my full attention to take him off the medications because he's not just going through withdrawals. I'm pretty much going through withdrawals. Well, so now he's on two medications. Yeah. What medications are he on? Is he on? Jaden's only, you know, he's on one, one kind of medication. He's only on, uh, on benz, a benzopanazepine called Clobazam. Uh, we're down to the last 20 milligrams. Um, I have plans to take him off hopefully soon. I'm just trying to set this project up so I can step back for a while and let everyone else take care of it so yeah. I can take care of Jaden because he's my number one priority. How long does it take to wean them off the pharmaceuticals? Well, I took him off 20 pills. It took me around three and a half years. Wow. Um, the last two pills might take me a year to two years. It just depends on how, how his withdrawals go through them and then what we can do to help him. But uh, when I wean him off, is the pill is this big, it's 10 milligrams. It's about that big. If I, if I take a razor and I, and I cut off one-tenth of a pill, he goes through withdrawals pretty hard. He'll have more seizures, anxiety, uh, brain zaps, so he'll be asleep and he'll literally fly up in the air and have like weird seizures and, and you know, we, we ask our doc doctors, you know, what's going on, and they'll stare and tell us, you know, this is a part of his epilepsy, but Jaden never had these seizures before I started weaning him off. And then when, you wean him off, when you're weaning him off, they'll tell you, well, see, your kid needs it. And so what I did was I went and talked to other people that were on these medications, and they were saying they were still having brain zaps two years after being off the medication. They'll have them not every day, but I know where it'll come and go, and it'll hit them. So I know it's a part of the medication withdrawal process because the receptor's rebuilding. 
and then you can look it up. It's uh, it's called a benzo withdrawal syndrome. It's very very dangerous, especially for a child. So, tell us about the support groups that you used to go to for Dravet syndrome and epileptic kids. Uh, I used to go to a lot of different support groups. Actually, that's where it really got blown up. And you know, uh, Paige Figgy had contacted me and, and asked me about it because she seen me on TV and uh, she heard me going to the different groups and uh, fighting, and they did their thing in Colorado and. Um, I was going to these Gervais meetings in, in different states and also in the Gervais Syndrome Foundation. I got kicked out of all of them. Um, this is before anyone came out with cannabis. Um, and that was treated very bad. And the same people that I got that could kick me out of these foundations are actually fighting in each state to legalize only CBD because they're brainwashed that CBD is the only thing good for them. I feel bad for these parents because they're not being educated on the whole plant. And the whole plant is the most important thing. You know, this has been a fight for this plant for such a long time. And now that there's products out, people are fighting for different components. And I think that's the biggest mistake anyone can make. You can't go to the same representative and say, hey, you know what, I want to fight for CBD right now. <laughs> okay, after CBD's, after you get CBD and it doesn't work or it makes your child worse, oh, we made a mistake, we need the whole plant now. Or what the most parents are doing is they're contacting me and saying, you know what, we're, we're getting back on pharmaceuticals, we're about to have brain surgeries because CBD doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I ask them, why didn't it work? Oh, we tried this one product and we give up. Well, there's 20,000 different strains of cannabis. Mm -hmm. There's hundreds and hundreds of ratios. There's thousands of different, different, um, different ways of extracting it. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of different ways of uh, different bases, like mm -hmm. for the base of it. People aren't trying different things. Yeah. It's a trial and error. How do you hope to see Jaden proceed? Uh, you want him to be free of pharmaceuticals. How do, you, how do you hope to see him live with his quality of life with cannabis? Um, this is what I say to myself, is I'm thankful for every day and every moment. So I'm very happy with whatever I can get. Because I've already achieved more than I thought I've ever achieved with Jaden already. So I'll take anything and I'll take everything. What my goal is, everyone always knows this from all the movies and shows I've been in, is to hear him say I love you. He's getting closer and closer, he's trying. I, I hope to God he will. But I know he loves me. And you know what, actions are louder than words and he shows more action than how much he loves me how much he adores me and how much he needs me and you know what I need him too he's made me the man I am today mm -hmm. and um, so I'm very thankful for what I do have from, for it you know I it made me look you know I could have been in a much worse position if it wasn't for Jaden you know and you know Jaden Jaden's suffering wasn't for nothing he saved so many other lives and hopefully changed the lives for so many other children in the future instead of cannabis being a last resort it mm -hmm. can hopefully be a first resort so people don't, <clears throat> so people don't have to go through what Jaden did do you have any doctors that are on board with your <clears throat> cannabis oil treatment? Absolutely. Yeah, um, the doctor that I go to at UCSF has hundreds of patients on cannabis. Mm -hmm. um, the youngest child is eight months old, uh, doing really well. Uh, he, whenever I see him, he always gives me a thumbs up. He says he has a lot of patients that go in there and say they're doing amazing with the Jaden juice. And Jaden juice is, is not the only cannabis out there. There's a lot of other mm -hmm. ones. You know, I tell people about our product because I believe in it, but yeah. there's a lot of other products that work too. It's trial and error. It's about finding that right thing, you know. Uh, I, I want to help people, you know. I, and I've done my best to get the word out, but there's a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of mismarketing or marketing out there that's misleading people, you know. It's not just Jaden Juice. It's not just whatever product is out there. There's hundreds of them. You have to keep on trial and erring. Our kids should not suffer. Don't give up. And the things that saddens me the most is when I hear people give up and it, you know, I heard a family that, that's doing experimental drug for a, for a five-year-old using Finfin. -fin. You know what Finfin -fin is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they gave up on cannabis because they moved to Colorado and it didn't work for them. So they went so to Finfin. -fin. Fin -fin. That's mm -hmm. much safer than trial airing with more cannabis, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just scary that people, people are brain surgeries, cutting out half the brain or adding in a vagus nerve stimulator. This isn't normal. This isn't natural. You know, and I'm not anti-pharma, but, you know, some of the things we use common sense is pretty scary, you know? I, the facts aren't all out there. I, you know, I think there's good and bad in everything, you know? So, you were asking me about if I go to pharma, I, I, I personally wouldn't again, because we've already went through hell and back and it doesn't work. If I had to use anything else, I'd probably use diet. Diet's probably the main thing I would probably do for Jaden. What would you say to any of the naysayers of parents or adults that don't believe in medicinal cannabis for the treatment with children, whether that's epilepsy, autism, or cancer? I get this a lot. I have a lot of patients that are on their deathbed dying and their, and their family members contact me and say, please help this person out, it's too late. Please help them out, tell their parents, tell this, tell, tell, tell their family members. You can't tell anyone because they've been brainwashed. What I can tell you is, why not try a plant that's been 
put on earth. You know, I've talked to my bishop from my church, and this big thing out there is with our Christian community that everyone's scared of it because we're Christians. Well, if you believe in God, it says in the Bible, use my plant, use my seeds. Don't don't blame God for saying it's evil. God wouldn't God wouldn't do that to us, you know. And you know, our community is very blinded and very easily brainwashed from propaganda. So you're telling me that that, that this plant is so dangerous but hasn't killed anyone but everything else that everyone else is using is so okay to use you know alcohol kills so many people a year but everyone's all good with alcohol you know it's, it's because of brain it's because of propaganda what's happening mm -hmm. so what i do is tell people is try it if it doesn't work then i understand but how if you try it and it changes the rest of your life it changes it saves your life mm -hmm. you know I believe in it because I've seen it, you know, when people call me crying and they tell me, I owe you my life, I love you, and I haven't even met this person because I tried Jaden Juice and it's, it's saving my life, you know, it, it really, it really makes me stronger to, to fight for what's right, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, it doesn't matter if it was cannabis or not, if it was Pepsi to save my son's life, I'd be fighting for Pepsi, mm -hmm. but this is what's saving my son's life and I see it saving so many others lives so I have to fight for it because I, I believe that we you know we should have a right to to have this God-given plant like it's been put on earth for a reason we can't eat so it's against the law to use something natural but and they say they haven't researched it and it's been here for 5,000 years but we we've researched everything else in the world where we could drop bombs in every other country can't figure out this plant that has been here for 5,000 years that show ancient remedies from way back in the day people using it but we can't figure it out Right. It scares me. Where do you hope to see marijuana in five to ten years? I hope to see everyone, everyone access, safe, safe, safe access. access. I think the biggest problem is the safe access, you know. And there's, you know, in California, we've, we have, uh, these legalities are all over the place. There's no regulation, you know. They, they always say, you know, when I talk to the city council and I talk to police and, and different people, they're like, well, you know, cannabis is causing all these different problems. Well, if it was regulated and it was done right, it's been legal here for 20 years and we still haven't figured it out. Right. It just, it just shocks me. You know, that Arizona already has legalities for it, you know. You know, that's why we're going to have, we're going to have Jaden Juice in Arizona hopefully soon is because their legalities and the regulations are much more easier. Yeah. You know, um, here in California, it's, 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 it's just everywhere, you know, and, and it's, it's sad because the people that really need it can't get access to it. Right. The people that are going to get it for the wrong reasons are going to get it no matter what. Right. And that's what hurts it for us, you know? It's like, you're only keeping it away from the people that really need it. We need safer access, we need better medicine testing, we need more research, like real research, not research from, from people using it, not from lab rats and stuff like that. We wanna, we wanna know that, you know, it's not dangerous, so we wanna find out the truth from it. Mm -hmm. And I get it from, from rats and, and they do all these different research and, and they figure things out, but why not find out from people that are really using it, you know? And I think that's, that's the most important thing is in the next five years is, is there's gonna be a lot more new things. CBD is gonna be old. Mm -hmm. C the THCA is a new CBD right now that people don't even know about yet. Yep. You know, and um, next thing there's gonna be another component, CB CBV, CBN, CBG. And there's so many different new things that are gonna be coming out in the near future as, as, as the more research we get into it and more, more better ways to find better strains that carry different things. Or find out what each profile of the cannabinoid does exactly. to the body Absolutely. in the endocannabinoid system. Absolutely. That's what we are. We were cannabinoid deficient because mm -hmm. the last time we get cannabinoids is when we're when we're babies from our mother's breast milk. So from when we're from breastfed until now, we, if we don't have cannabinoids, then we're, we're endocannabinoid deficient. So that's what's causing all the problems: diabetes, all our autoimmune disorders comes from that because we're deficient on different things, and one of the deficiencies is cannabinoids. What scientific research have you found to support uh, the cannabinoids helping with the neurological disorders? I came across the federal government patent, uh, the 6630507. That's what really got me into it. Um, you know, it, it tells you everything. You know, the first time I showed it to my lawyer, he called me because I didn't sleep last night. And I said, why not? He goes, that paperwork you gave me, I read it. He goes, I couldn't sleep. I said, why? He goes, that stuff helps out everything. He goes, I have a few family members needed for this, this, and this, and this. Can you help them? I said, of course I could. And I helped the people get the medicine. But what it is, though, it, about it is... Is it, it's scary that they, it's a Schedule One drug, but yet the federal government owns the patent on it. Yes, and then mm -hmm. at the same time they're saying there's no medical benefits. 
okay, well, what are the medical benefits from benzodiazepines? What are the medical benefits from alcohol? What are the med medical benefits from cigarettes? What are the medical benefits from all this different stuff that's out there? Mm -hmm. How about Red Bull and all the different, all these different uh, energy drinks, all the stuff, all the kids that are dying, you know, from, from this different stuff. Um, where's, you know, how is that all legal? But this plant is so vicious and deadly and dangerous and evil. Right. Propaganda has ruined what this plant could do for so many people. And the saddest thing is, you know, you're going to lose a loved one because they're not going to use the medicine, the real medicine. You know, the, I hate the word high. Yeah. Because we don't get high. No. We get medicated. You know when you get high? On a chemical. If Pills. you had one thing to say about cannabis, what would you say? I say thank God for this gift. I, I, th I thank God for the gift that bring my son back. Cannabis saved my son's life and actually saved my whole family's life. Because when your child ha is sick and dying, your whole family is dying. I bring back my son, I bring back my family. And what would you say to the doctors that don't believe that CBD or THC is helpful for neurological disorders? I would ask them to do their research. If they really got into the, if they, I, this is what I tell doctors. I would say, if you really believe that you want to help someone and you really want to, want to find out the truth, then instead of knocking it, why not researching it and trying it? If it doesn't work, you know what, you could prove it. But if it does work, you need to prove it too. And what I recommend them do is, is less comparison. You know, I've asked a doctor before. There's a doctor who had done a PowerPoint at a Gervasian Foundation meeting about three kids smoking joints in this, in this seminar, and he was making fun of me because I was, there was no one out before this, kind of came out about cannabis, but me at the time. He had make, made a seminar, and on the PowerPoint had three kids smoking joints that were three to five years old. He said, cannabis is voodoo. This guy's one of the biggest university doctors um, in Miami. He said, cannabis is voodoo. He said, don't believe in it. This guy, these guys are crazy. Their, their, their studies are all wrong. It's all, it's all lies. It's, um, it's uh, antidotal evidence. It's, it's not true. The kids aren't doing as good as they say they are. So I asked the doctor afterwards. And I, said, I said, why don't you bring the kids that you work with that are all in wheelchairs, 20, 30 pills, 40 pills a day, the ones that have, have brain surgery, that are sitting there lethargic, dying. How many kids died in your office this year? I asked him. Four. I said, I'm going to show you the kids that we work with. You saw them here today. Happy, smiling, you know, trying to come back alive, you know, recovering, you know. Uh, this comparison. You know, the video, the video footage is what the real thing is. The studies out there are biased. Mm -hmm. I don't believe studies anymore. Mm -hmm. Because the studies of the Magic 3 that everyone talked about, the Magic 3 and Dr. Gervais promoted and everything, ruined my son's life. I'm sure it wasn't just my son, because I have parents from around the world contacting me saying the Magic 3 is killing their children. So I always tell them, let's compare them. You know, try it. If it doesn't work, you know, if you really believe in it, don't knock it. Research it. Mm -hmm. Try it. See the difference. Why aren't you opening your eyes? Right. Do you really want, did you really come to get into the medical field to help people? Right. Then help them. Right. You know, yeah, we're saying, telling you it's working. If one person's telling you it's working, everything else isn't working. Why not try it? That's my approach to doctors. Yeah. Well, they treat symptoms. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you want to add about uh, using Jaden's Juice or how you got to creating it? Jaden's Juice is, is, a, is an option out there. Uh, we made it so we could help people. We recommend people try it. You know, it's, it's worth a try. If you don't try it, you'll never find out if it can help you. Uh, we have a few different products. The CBD one's non-psychoactive. It works amazing for a lot of different people with MS, diabetes, uh, epilepsy, autism. We have patients with cancer using it. Uh, and we're not saying it works for everyone. We're not saying it cures anything. What we're saying is it's, it's something out there that might help out with different things, with different symptoms and different things. Uh, what else I could tell you about Jaden Juice is I love seeing the results. I love when people call me and you hear the sigh of relief from parents or, or people using it afterwards and they tell me, you know what, thank you. Um, you made a difference in our lives. Not just my child's, but my husband's or whoever's around them that are using Jaden just to see huge results. Uh, I just think that there's a lot of other options. We also have Jaden Juice THC for a lot of different, different um, symptoms. And also we have Jaden Juice THCA and hopefully soon we'll have other products out too. 
Uh, we made it easy to dose. It's in a it's in an oil, so you can take a few drops. Um, always start at a low dose. Move up slowly to find what works for you. No two people are alike, so uh, it's always good to wean on. You know, we have, there's a lot of frequently asked questions I could go after, but but the main thing is just uh, it's a trial and error, and everyone is different, so it's not one size fits all. And, Everyone has to figure out what works for them. They have to read their bodies instead of just being programmed at a milligram per pound type of thing. So my best best bet for you to do is start at a low dose and move up slowly to figure out what works. I know everyone wants to find the cure right away, but it doesn't work like that. And sometimes it does. But um, the most important thing is go slowly and figure out what works for you. Read your body, write some notes, and figure out how it can help you out. Zaza, Zaza. You got a lot to say. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. You don't know what to say? Come on, get up. Yeah, fist pumping. Come on. Get up. Get up. How do we clap? Yeah, that's how you do it. How about fives? Let's remember all the fun.